In the 1980s, the white sea bass population along the west coast dropped to dangerously low levels because of overfishing and loss of habitat. That's when Hubs SeaWorld Research Institute was brought in to start a replenishment program. Yeah, since then, the white sea bass population has rebounded. Our Sean Stiles shows us how the program works in this Earth 8 report. Aboard the Millie G here in Oceanside are nearly 7,000 juvenile white sea bass that were raised at the Hub SeaWorld Research Institute. From here, they're heading to Catalina. No, These fish are going to what's called a grow out pen. At Catalina, we have a pen over there that we operate. Michael Shane is the director of replenishment operations at Hub SeaWorld Research Institute. Right here, there's probably five to six thousand fish in each each one of these tanks. At Catalina, they usually get a little bit larger just because the water quality, the size of the cage is so much larger than most of the other cages along the coastline here. So they'll get released later this year, most likely around November, where they'll be probably close to 14, 16 inches in size. To get the sea bass to this point takes a lot of work at the hatchery in Carlsbad, where fertilized eggs are collected from brood stock. So they went from what's called our incubator system into our juvenile one system. And then from our juvenile one system, they came into here, which is the juvenile two system, where the fish get to be the largest size here in the hatchery and grow to you know the three or four inches that we normally get them to before we then take them out, out to the grow out pens. There are two main reasons the replenishment program is in place. I mean, that has been the impetus for this program is to replenish the stocks that we have overfished. Either overfished or they've lost valuable habitat. Covering the cost of the program are those benefiting the most. Legislation came into uh, effect back in the early 80s to um, have fishermen that fish in Southern California pay an additional license that comes to support this program. The monies go to the Department of Fish and Wildlife who contracts Hub SeaWorld. To keep the program healthy, new adult white sea bass will be making the return trip. After spending a, a couple of months in quarantine outside here, we'll be brought in to provide fresh gene pool to the tanks that are in here. And then the process starts all over again. The juvenile white sea bass will send just about six, eight months over in Catalina before they're double in size and released to replenish the stock. We'll send it back to you in the studio.